going on guys, it's your boy Ray, and welcome to the very first installment of Soul Search, where we're gonna be traveling the entire country, searching for the best sneaker shops in the entire United States of America. Today, we're out here in San Antonio, Texas, for Sneaker Soul Boutique, where our good friend Felix has been so kind enough to let us inside and give him a quick interview and give us a quick tour of his store. So let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm out here with my friend Felix. Thank you so much for letting us do this. Um, you got a cool little shop out here. And first things first, I gotta ask, what's the history behind this place? How long has it been around? For? Uh, we've been around since uh, June 2008. Um, it was recently uh, done by Julio Escamilla, who, um, who started the business back in 2008. Um, I just kind of, I came along in 2010 after I got out the military. You know, I had nothing to do. Cool. So uh, I just started working part time, pretty much, and. Um, you know, he gave me the opportunity at the probably like September 2013 to uh, pretty much just put it on the table like, hey, this is what we want to do. It's either, you know, you take over or, you know, it's done. But I knew it could be something better, you know, because it was still just the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I just like, well, let's just do it and see what happens. Gotcha. So, you just got to make so that I've been, jump. I've been doing it for about three years. It's still a, a learning experience, you know, but it, it's going. Um, you know, the support, you know, online to locals, you know, it's it's there. Very and it's cool. only getting better and better. So. Very cool, very cool. So where does your passion originate from when considering the sneaker game right now? Oh man, I've been doing it, man, I can remember back when I started working at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. uh, probably my sophomore year in high school, uh, I used to go hit it up. Uh, you know, before it was easy. I can go before school, the mall be open up at nine. I'm there at nine, get my shoe, put it on, and go to school. And I was, yeah, you know, sure. me and my buddy used to meet up there. We used to be, the, you know, it kind of be kind of tacking out the same dudes wearing the same shoes at the same time walking around, but that's what we were doing, man. Um, and everybody's like, "Ooh, dude, you got the new Jordans already." Well, what was cool back in the day? Um, man, Jordans has always days. been a thing, but I've always been a an Air Zoom GP guy. Uh, okay. You know, with the okay. little the little the, the GP little clicks, yeah. yeah there so you go. Um, that's that's my main thing. I, Jordans is Jordans. Everybody grows up with Jordans, you know. But um, I'm kind of right now, like I'm out that phase. I like them, but you know. They're not good on my feet nowadays. <laughs> gotcha. When you say GPs are going to be your favorite shoe out there, that's right my now. favorite shoe of all time. Yeah, I'm, I'm still. So if anybody got that black neon pair, I'm looking for it. Okay. Yeah, all right. We'll keep that in consideration. <laughs> Is he just your favorite player, in, or just the shoe? Um, he, he's not my favorite player, uh, but he's he's one of the you know players I looked at for sure. Yeah, for know, sure. This GP he talked a lot of mess. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. He knows his thing. Yeah. Um. So what can you tell us about the sneaker game out here in San Antonio? Man, um, we don't seem to get too much respect out here, man, but. It's, it exists. It's you know, all the shows that are put on here. People are there. It's growing and growing. You know, there are times where uh, like certain accounts they they don't allow us to get certain things because they think San Antonio is not the sneaker market, man. But when you have release after release after release, selling out, selling out, selling out, that that's just say something about it. For you know, sure, you know, for sure. But it, it's here, man. Um, it's just San Antonio is so spread out right now. Um, but it exists and it's big. Yeah, it's only getting. I see the little kids come in. It's already starting to that, you know, Absolutely. that lower level. Absolutely. So it's only gonna keep on going. We're in San Antonio. This is a huge basketball town. Um, they love their Spurs. Oh, yes. We went out to the Riverwalk just a couple days ago, and I think left and right we saw jerseys. We saw Tim Duncan's. We saw Tony Parker's. The White Lantern jerseys that on a romantic dinner. You know, they're still wearing that jersey out. Um, do any San Antonio Spurs former players, current play, players maybe, come down to ever uh, Former that? players, only one that's been here has uh, been Antonio Daniels. And, uh, you know, from early 90s he played with the Spurs. And, uh, well, late 90s he played with the Spurs. But recently, you know, um, there was a few players that dropped in. I can't, I kind of didn't really know who they were, and they were still at the beginning phase. But the last recently was like uh, Bellinelli was always a good customer. Oh, very cool, very cool. So uh, he was very down to earth. Just you know, uh, it was chaotic though when he'll come in because he, he wouldn't tell me, so I couldn't kind of coordinate it. He'll kind of just show up. Oh, I'm here, pick up the shoes. Like, nice. So then you know, everybody used to kind of all the stores used to come in and just like look at the windows, like man, you know, that, it was cool though. Um, but. I mean, I, I sell to players, like I have their associates that I come, you know, 
They don't tell me who it is, but they're like, uh. But then I see them wearing it, and I'm like, oh, okay. For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. First things when I walked in here, I noticed a lot of the artwork. Um, what can you tell us about some of the artwork? Who is it done by? Was there any specific meaning behind any of that? Um, man, we just we just like different artists. We mess with them. most of them are local. I'll say the only one isn't is the Tim Duncan piece that sits over there. Mm -hmm. That was done by a dude named uh, Timmy Sneaks from uh, associated with Melon Brand, who is a good artist. But the most majority is all. That's not really what we look at. We just look at we're just more vibrant color. You know, something that just stands yeah, out. You sure. know, I kind of I don't just tell people, hey, this is like like this piece right here, the big piece. I just said. You know, just put our soap boutique, but you know, kind of freestyle your own it, way. It, yeah, you know, cool. I don't want to control somebody because then you, you limit them to what they can really do. Lastly, what advice would you want to give somebody out there who's maybe on the fence about opening up their own sneaker shop or just following their dreams in general? Man, it's just like me, just just do it, man. Just do it and have patience. Uh, I know when I first started, man, when people used, they used to come in, uh, when I took over, you, you know, you get them slow days, you're like, man, like, what am I going to do, what am I going to do, you know, one, two days, it'll be slow, and then after a while, it's just like, boom, 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 like, it, you know, it can happen quick as that, it's just, um, do it, man, just, because you, you'll always have that regret, you know, you don't want to sit back and think, you know, 10 years later, like, man, what if I would have did it, you know, you know, it's kind of sneakers just getting bigger and bigger. Mm. Um, yeah, just do it and have patience, man. For sure. that, that's all it is, man. Sure. Patience. Absolutely. Yeah, just keep on. I mean, like I follow other people, just you know, like different other shops, because you have to, man. You have to see what they're doing to, you know, change what you're doing. You know, so I, I do that. You know, I spy on people. There you go. <laughs> it's part of the game, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, Felix. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys are ever in the San Antonio area. Be sure to check out. Sneaker Soul Boutique. Great shop, great people, good shoes. Thanks so much, my man. Thanks for watching, guys, and please be sure to hit that like button along with subscribing to our channel. And hey, if you know any sneaker spots in your area, be sure to leave a comment below, and maybe one day we'll be able to feature it in our channel in an upcoming episode. Peace out, guys.